you don't need to be a celebrity to have your privacy and personal space violated. Every day, there are more cases of people falling victim to cyber theft, computer hacks, or other digital crimes. When you're online, you might think you're safe with passwords, but there are still lots of potential risks. The practice of staying safe online is called digital security, and it involves the protection of a digital identity and assets of a person or organization. A digital identity is the body of information about an individual or organization that exists online and includes email addresses, usernames, and passwords. Digital assets include hardware, such as computers and phones, as well as software, such as apps and programs, or anything that is connected to the internet. So, what are the risks? Well, there are many different ways that your data can get hacked. The most common are phishing and malware attacks. Phishing occurs when a hacker masquerades as a trusted entity, such as a bank or telecommunications company, and dupes a victim into opening an email or message. The recipient is then tricked into clicking a malicious link, which can lead to the installation of malware and the theft of personal information. Another risk is weak authentication, such as insecure password method or allowing indefinite number of login attempts. There are many other more complex attack risks, but all are designed to allow hackers and criminals to break into your digital space and steal your data. Clearly, digital security is a big issue for all of us. However, it's more important for the people in the LGBT community to ensure that their and their friends' online data is safeguarded, as their sexuality information can be used against them by governments, opponents, criminals, and employers. While many digital security programs and devices are available, there are some very easy ways to better protect your digital data and assets. 1. Be careful with your information. The first thing is to be extra careful with unknown or suspicious information sources. Also, be cautious when giving out your email, posting it on public forums, or in risky conversations. 2. Never open suspicious mails or links. Never open a suspicious email and never click on any link in a suspicious email. 3. Share less information online. Don't share too much information on social media. Hackers can use this information to trick you or others who know you. The best thing to remember is the fewer details you share online, the safer your information will be. There are also a few practical approaches to improve digital security in your home or workplace. Ensure your passwords and authentication mechanisms are strong. Use more complex passwords, which use numbers as well as uppercase and lowercase letters. Encrypt your information when sending files or data. Data encryption is the process of scrambling information, so it can only be read using an encryption key. There are many good encryption tools available. Some are even free. Back up your files. File backup is the practice of making additional copies of your data and storing them in different locations, which means you can still access your files even if a hacker compromises your primary storage system. Finally, securing your hardware is also an important part of securing your information. At work, you should position your computer screen in order to prevent people from reading what is being displayed. Computer cases with padlocks can prevent your initial hardware from being tampered with. Lockable security cables can stop intruders from stealing your computers and laptops. These are just some basic tips. To get more serious about your digital security, you should consult with an IT professional and get some advice about your specific circumstances. Because when it comes to any kind of security, there's one thing that's true for all of us. It's better to be safe than sorry.